Heavy fighting continues in North Kivu's province between government forces and the rebel militia led by former General Lord Mukunda. The UN Refugee Agency says tens of thousands of refugees have fled the camps for nearby Goma, North Kivu's capital. There have been reports of many deaths and incidents of sexual violence. This woman has been on the run for days now. We are running away from the enemy. Our husbands are fighting against them. I don't even know where my husband is. I don't know if he's dead or alive. Intense fighting has caused humanitarian relief to be temporarily suspended throughout most of the province. Increased hardship, increased difficulties, increased vulnerabilities. One thing on top of another it just makes the population much more vulnerable, afraid, worried. And of course, uh, the longer term impacts are very serious too because children are not able to go to school, living in a normal and safe and secure environment. So it's especially worrying and uh, the, the people are suffering a great deal of hardship at the moment. The protection of children is a major concern. UNICEF is providing assistance to children separated by the conflict by placing them in temporary shelters until they are reunited with their families. Of course, in these situations, women and children are the most vulnerable. We know this from past experiences. And sadly, with these movements, the lack of access to water and sanitation, for example, can put them at further danger because cholera uh, can be a threat. And women and children are also made more vulnerable, as children especially, because they can be further exposed to uh, measles, malnutrition, and respiratory infections. And very sadly, in the DRC, uh, sexual violence is uh, very commonplace and has reached almost epidemic proportions. Providing assistance will remain a top priority for UNICEF so that people may have the food, medicine and clean water they need to help them endure this ongoing conflict. This is Roshni Karwal reporting for UNICEF Television. Unite for Children.